Hello, Fiona Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy V Advance. Not a lot to uh, say with this. Okay, good. Okay, we've had this before. It's it decreases um, attack by a lot. Um, it increases magic, but it's not really worth it. And I think that's all of them now. Alright, sapping the targets. Uh, I think it was NP. MP sounds very useful. I mean, obviously, um, since uh, attacking rather than healing is the main thing that Quail uh, does, that is a good idea. But. Although the magic's better, I really like sometimes destroying the enemy in one blow. Not very often, but sometimes. So, I am going to go forwards and see if I can work out what exactly this thing does. Hey. You know what? Time to leave. I don't really need to be those things. I really wish that I could use the tent right now. Okay, this looks like the best place to go. Man, I wish I could use a tent right now, but I can't. And I've got a feeling that there might be a boss here, so it's probably time to do this. Alright, that's enough of those now. If there's any more, I'm running. It's sort of like the greatest hits of um, of the game, really. Specific areas of the game that we've come back to again. These woods are so peaceful. Why don't you rest here for all eternity? Alright, you might see things that say save one, and if you do, well, you do. Oh, I forgot. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go with physical attacks, aren't I? Let's see if we can uh, get a couple of uh, finishes in there. After all, this is a boss, so I'm not going to... 
run out of, of battle. This is just going to be annoying. Excellent. Well, that was quite annoying, but it worked. You really haven't missed much with me editing it out, honestly, pretty much seeing everything that you can do. I think just trying to use finish it as much as you can is the best thing. I mean, there's, there's just nothing else you can really do. Okay, I'm going to wait to see if there's a way to use the tent. Oh, I know there isn't. In that case, gonna have to do this, which I don't like doing because I don't really have, I don't have an infinite number of ethers, so, since I could go to different parts. Uh, oh wait, this works against most things. I have seen these before, although I don't like how much they've done to the flowers. Alright, Bumble to Waterfall. Well, there's not actually that much I can do in terms of being Bumble to Water, but I might as well just do this. Just keep on doing um, Acrobat with that theme as my only water attack. Okay, this really isn't good. It's going to be pretty annoying having to do this with every one of these things. So hopefully I won't uh, have to face too many uh, of these things. You know, I'm not actually certain that Acrobath uh, is a uh, water attack because it doesn't actually seem to do that much when um, it's against uh, creatures that are vulnerable to water. It seems to do exactly the same amount that uh, it does when it's fighting against creatures that aren't vulnerable to water. Uh, water. It's impossible for me to know. Again, finisher that I already had. Not sure how that works. I've decided that I've, uh, I'm doing a lot of stuff here, I'm getting a lot of uh, experience points, 
So it seems to me that I'm just gonna go in with the uh, Arts, Vikings, Finster, or Attack, and if they run away, then they run away, and if they don't, then I'm gonna keep on fighting. Oh, wing. So, yeah, that will stop water attacks from working. It's at this one, because I don't care. Oh, boy. Okay, good. Well, I don't like the word great, I also don't like the word dragon. This might not work. No, it doesn't. That's quite annoying. Not that bad though, actually. Okay. Phew. Alright. Well, this, this is very helpful. Ah, uh, I am going to end the episode there. I will see you next time.